Okay. okay. Some doors. I got walls. I got Jedi. I'm fine. Yeah. Cal, do you have a moment? You've come a long way since Bracca. But the path is far from over. I want you to know the difficult challenges ahead. I can handle it. I know what you can do. I'm not denying that. And I know what has to be done. I've done it before. Cal, even the strongest of Jedi. I'm not Trilla. I'll be fine. I know you're not. I didn't say that. I'm not asking you to say anything. It's okay, Seer. Really. Just be safe, Cal. That's all. Hey, I know we haven't been on great terms, but can I talk to you about something? I need your help. I'm listening. I've reconnected with the Force, but I still feel blocked. Why do you think that is? Every time I open myself up, I see Master T'Pol. You felt this, yet you continue deepening your connection to the Force. You know what that says to me? That I don't know what's good for me. That you're strong enough to embrace your emotions. Give yourself time. Seer, I... Thanks for helping me. It means a lot. Bree's still hiding? It appears so. I don't blame him. Dathomir is not kind to outsiders. Cordova must have said something about this place to you. Something to explain why he came here. You think he was any more clear then than he is on those logs he left behind? He was always a smart man, but he was still figuring things out. Now it's up to us to follow that path. Follow it, we will. All right, let's move forward on to Dathomir. Can I just, can I double jump onto this now? Cannot, okay, we need the climbing claws for that. All right. Uh, we're on to the coolest planet in the game. Technically the hottest planet in the game, but you know. One out of one secret. This is all we gotta do in this area. I should be more clear, uh, careful. What? Oh, it dies <laughs> uh, with a slash. That's interesting. Lesser Nidok. Uphold a strong defense against its aggressive and relentless attacks, easily thrown off by repeated parries. Referred to in legend as the Scourge of Dathomir, the deadly Lesser Nidak is an agile and highly aggressive alpha predator. Its carnivorous appetite and relentless pursuit of prey makes it a deadly foe to nearly all other life forms. Powerful arms allow it to traverse terrain in diverse and unparalleled methods, often surprising its quarry. That's super cool. I like the way this thing looks. Good fantasy, like, monster design. Right. Ooh, got a scan? Got something? Mushlings are an essential ingredient in the ink Night Sisters and Night Brothers use for their tattoos. The mushling pods are boiled down until they become a thick yellowish paste. From there, clay ash or other pigments are mixed in to create a variety nice. of colors. I guess, uh, guess we just have to walk straight in. <laughs> For an unwelcoming, uh, Star Wars lore area, uh, they kind of just leave the front door open for you. All right, let's go over here. I think there was a shortcut, wasn't there? Yeah, I got one. I couldn't remember that I had opened it up. 
Look at how good the ship looks right now with that Django uh, scheme. I love the way that looks. Oh god. There we go. Um, which way do we go? Over here? Yeah. I love his run. It looks kind of silly, but I like Adversary. it a lot. Try me, Jedi. We will end you. Solid hit. You cannot break. All right. The Knight Brothers are really cool looking in general. Like, I just like the way that their designs are. You, like, you really can't go wrong with making an entire group of people basically Darth Maul clones. <laughs> Shirtless Darth Maul clones. Apollo says, give me Night Sister lore. Um, Night Sisters are Force Witches. We don't know a lot about them. They are native to Dathomir, and they are the matriarchs of their society. Uh, they revere the dead, are a very traditional species, or a species culture of people, and... Uh, in general, uh, command a lot of respect on Dathomir because they were able to carve out a life here in this very, very dangerous place. Mind helping me out? Good work, BD. Yeah, Night Sisters, I mean, they get a lot of screen time in Clone Wars, but they're, they are deliberately mysterious. We don't learn a lot about them. Uh, in terms of like how they work or why they are the way they are Two out of two chests one out of one secrets perfect. All right Remember my warning the death and madness awaited me. Well That's fine. We have to find Kujet's tomb somehow But not without equipment. Convenient of him to throw stuff at me. <laughs> Can't believe we made it. <laughs> You sure know how to have fun. Dathomir is just very beautiful. It's like fucked up and evil looking, but also very beautiful. guess here. No? Guess not. Where do we go? It's cool to see all of these like makeshift uh, settlements and stuff. You will go no further. Stand aside. No. He was right about you. Who? What? 
Jedi are thieves and selfish liars who bring nothing but death. Back off. If you attack me again, I'll strike you down. Oh, I won't do a thing. But my murdered sisters. They will have their revenge. But the Jedi weren't even the ones that killed the Night Sisters. They were the Separatists that did that. It's partially responsible. Dooku is partially responsible for that. So she has been misled. A little help, BD. Much better, BD. Okay, I can't scan those for some reason. I feel like these enemies have actual Dark Souls uh, movesets. <laughs> Undead Night Sister. Relentless, able to leap, and highly aggressive against their targets, attack and swarms avoid becoming surrounded. Few have seen an undead Night Sister and survived. It is believed these mummified warriors emerge from the burial pods of ancient Night Sister graveyards on foul eaves or under command of a witch's incantation. They are known to be hostile to all life except their Night Sister masters. Upon sight of their prey, they release a piercing scream, calling all nearby undead. They attack in frenzied swarms, clawing and biting their way through the flesh. Weird font at the end of there, that. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Some sort of encoding issue? Leave this place. I could use the stem. Thanks, BD. Oh, I thought that was a rope. I guess I have to go all the way back. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, undead night sisters uh, being pulled from burial pods, and that gets to oh god, they're so gross looking. Burial pods are like a huge part of uh, night sister culture, where they literally like create uh, parts of their settlements like in the graveyards of their dead, and they bring their dead with them to different places, which is kind of cool. Taff says, I love when they show the more literal magic in this series. Feels like an interesting and underexplored element. Yeah, like the living force as a concept is like very not really explored at all. And it's one of those things that I think is actually really cool. I wish I wish they did more with it. But unfortunately, they killed Qui-Gon in the first prequel, so we don't get to have nice things. <laughs> One chest in this area, okay. Feeling better. You will pay for their death. Why? Why will I pay? I didn't do nothing. Leave me alone. Jeez. here kill the spider and we had one chest to find to keep following huh. us Sierra called them force wielders and I've never seen it used this way before we better stay on our toes wait do you have toes any idea what that flying creature is let's hope we don't find out Terrifying.
Is this a shortcut that we just unlocked? Aha, it is. Yep, there you go. What is it, BD? Power and control. Another Sith uh, lightsaber part. So despite being a planet sort of designed to resemble the dark side of the forest, Dathomir is not actually a Sith planet. Uh, and it's important to remember that I Darth Maul was a Sith at first, but wasn't actually a Sith by the end of his life. Knight Brothers paint glyphs using acid from the Hydra... Uh, Hydratus. Rather than staining the surface, the acid burns into the hardest rock faces, leaving permanent marks. Each symbol must be carefully drawn, both to preserve accuracy and avoid damage to oneself. Master calligraphers are rare and extremely valued Maybe for their talents. Close to a village. The outsider. Hey, BD. BD, here! Mess his wounds! Stop him! So we have two points. Next time we get a nice, a spot to hide, uh, to hide, to uh, meditate, we should be able to get another uh, ability. Unfortunately, the Knight Brothers and Knight Sisters were basically entirely wiped out during the Clone Wars, so these are the really the last remnants of their society. At least as far as organized Knight Brother and Knight Sister society goes. Oof. Alright, let's immediately level up. What do we want next? Probably greater force attunement. I don't know. I kind of want I want howling push as well. That would be really great. Let's do that. We're so close to having a complete skill tree. It's so nice. Splinter says he has to go. Oh, well, it was great having you, Splinter. Thanks for watching. All right. All right. I like to think I provide a chill enough stream for people to just kind of hang out. Yeah, I believe it was actually uh, General Grievous that destroyed Dathomir. Not destroyed, but killed most of the the Night Sisters on du behalf of Dooku.
so what we're kind of wandering through is a lot of the uh There we go. What we're what we're kind of navigating through right now is the the remnants of uh, the, like the air raids and stuff from, uh, from the Clone Wars. BD. got seven stims which feels like a lot so we should be good I want to get through Dathomir tonight uh, do our best to do that hmm interesting what the hell what <laughs> what <laughs> that was weird I meant to look up speedruns just to see what the speedrun for this game is like. I want to see the 100%. I feel like this game's got to have some crazy movement tech. Maybe I'll look that up soon. So I, I want to see what that is, though. There's a thing down there. I guess that I just missed. Yeah, okay. Glad I noticed this. <laughs> they were never even buried. So many Night Sisters died here. They didn't even stand a chance. Climbing, just keep climbing. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can I guess them did one? Wretched legged crawling coward. There we go. We are we are in a much better position now. Oop, don't want to stand in the acid. Come on. Fire at me. Oh, a dead Night Brother. Spider domestication. Night Brothers are only recently began efforts to domesticate the Baneback Spider. Without the Night Sisters' magical anti-venoms, the task is occasionally proven deadly. However, if a spider is captured young and raised alongside a Night Brother, it will bond with him and become a lasting companion. Oh, that's sweet. Puppy spider. Spider puppy. We're doing an okay job today. Kettle says, I think there might be some spiders who can train to do tricks. Interesting. 
It's nothing that I have ever been interested in because I don't like spiders, but it is a cool thing that we have learned how to do. Turn back, Jedi. Uh, Taff says, is the double blade a straight upgrade in this game or is it just my favorite? Um, neither. Double blade uh, is used for uh, crowd control and uh, deflecting. Uh, so double bladed lightsabers can uh, auto reflect um, after the first deflect for laser bolts. So if you're fighting a lot of enemies that have, um, if you're fighting a lot of enemies that have like guns, if you just deflect the first shot and then hold the button, you'll auto deflect all the rest of them back. Um, and overall, uh, it does less damage to attack, but it attacks faster. So it's, it can be really useful for dealing with like, uh, for dealing with like, uh, Another annoying step. enemies that are kind of hard to stagger. Oof. I'm not sure if the parry timing is tighter. Uh, I think I, I have no idea about that, but I just I know that it's better for um, like fighting the the heavy gunners and stuff like that. But in this case, I'm fighting a bunch of enemies that have like where there are like five or six of them at once, and so it's just it's beneficial to keep it out and have it. But when I'm only fighting one on one, it's it's better to have the the regular blade. Let's go. The double bladed saber is uh, is useful, especially in Dathomir, because you're always fighting so many people at once. But sacrifices set an example. Night Brothers were thrown into a pit, killed by beasts, no doubt to be set an example of. So, uh, Night Brother, Night Sister Society, I should say, is heavily matriarchal. And the Night Brothers are basically subservient to them. Nice job. Lair of the Nidok. The Lesser Nidok is, fe is a feared opponent for Night Brothers. Though legends say some Night Sisters kept them as familiars, Niducks are solitary creatures rarely seen in packs after adolescence. Their only natural pet predator is the massive Gorgara. I wonder if that was the big bird. Hmm. Okay. Go in there in a second. brothers live through there not unless we have no other choice yeah that figures
I need help. I passed by the gate. All right. Uh, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't talking. I was. I was chewing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I have to. I have to take uh, potential moments to eat food uh, where I can, because <laughs> eating a bowl of cereal while playing a game is hard, but I can do it on a slide where I <laughs> only have to have one hand on the controller. How could anyone survive here? <laughs> oh, nice. Brula fruit. Brula fruit was common reagent in Night Sister potions. In small doses, its nectar could act as an anti-venom to the bites of Dathomir's many poisonous snakes. Overconsumption, however, resulted in symptoms of swamp madness, convulsions, blurred vision, and hallucinations. I got that swamp madness. <sighs> there we go. Uh, oops. Can't climb there. Not feeling so great, PD. That hit the spot. Nice bleeding gut. I'd say these vines are too creepy for Grease, but it's Grease. Where did we come from? I see. Okay. Another one of those things. Their, uh, their vengeance attack there is, is keeps it always gets me. I keep thinking I can parry it, but I can't. All right, uh, thank God we're not super far away. into the ground there for a second this was an arena once the night brothers only respect those with power night brothers fought in this ruined arena to demonstrate their strength winning meant honor respect and power over the weak Dock over there. Oh, great. Let them fight each other. Vengeance 
for my sisters. Come on, BD. Ugh. Broke my posture, I think. That's brutal. Alright, we're, we're doing okay, though. We're actually way further into this than, uh, than it seems. Dathomir is full of, like, lethal enemies, but also isn't actually that big once you learn, uh, like, the, the layout of the map. I'm just trying to learn the parry timing. BD, Should yeah. kill myself. There she is up there. Now she zoom. Let's do it. There we go. Single-handedly decimating the environment of Dathomir. Oh, mushlings, nice. Okay, so we got more. Hope you met from Dathomir. Let's go, BD. The ecologists hate him. This one simple trick to ruining a local environment. Check it out? Okay, BD. What is it? All right. Uh, one out of three chests in this area. Let's uh, run around to the actual bog part real quick. Make sure we're not missing anything. Because it's easier to do this now than it is later. Poncho savanna. Interesting. Wait, why would you want why would you want a black poncho in a savanna setting? It would be so warm. Savannas are like warm and sunny, aren't they? Well, that's a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so this must have been his ship, right? And it's a white flagged ship, interesting. It's, Im oh, it's Imperial. And we heard the Wanderer's voice on it, so he's from the Empire. Can't be trusted. Me 
All right, so we got two out of the three chests. Let's try to go for three out of three, just so that we don't need to worry about coming back to this bog again. I think it might be over there. There we go, it is. This is the part of the game that I remember the most clearly. Well, I do want to... I want to go back there to get that, so... I think that's a meditation spot right there. Yeah. Oh no, it's just a, it's Senseko. Okay. The Night Sisters used to call their leader mother. She used powerful magic. So the Night Sister leader. In Clone Wars is Mother Talzin. I'm not sure if Marin is the uh, the same coven as uh, Asajj Ventress, but oh, that thing looks like trouble. Quick. Uh, oh God! Get the intruder! Move it. We're doing better. We're we're not we're not falling off the ledge this time. Ready for round two. Let's go. Brothers, aid me. An adversary. Stop him from moving. I need a stim, BD. something fire lichen fire lichen grows naturally in the dry climate of dathomir its bright red colored comes from the absorption of sulfur and other dust particles in the air the dathomirian variety is so resilient it's nearly impossible to rip from the rock nice uh hmm Alright, we've got two ability points. When we get three, we'll go ahead and, and cash them out. Nice. Uh alright, because of that actually we'll just we'll just go use these. Why not? Uh, what do we want next, crew? What do we think? Let's see. Uh, greater force attunement, that could be good. Power throw, that could be cool. Howling pull, that could also be cool. Leaping slash could be nice. More life could also just be good. We could get the final life upgrade and call that a day. I'm thinking force points might be the most useful for us at the moment. Yeah. 
Whirlwind throw I'm also looking forward to getting. Let's get, uh, not our life points, our f let's increase our force. 